Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com. So uh, Joe Biden is uh, doing the NATO summit, There's a, uh, and he gave a speech. And it sounded like he said, I realize after effing your wife. And then <laughs> it's what it sounds like. And then he also it sounds like he calls somebody a wigger. Yeah, that's uh, what the claims are. Now, I no. watched this on a big screen and slowed it down. He's okay. a mumbler. He's a mumbler. So let's watch yeah. it and then we'll get to it. Here we go. Secretary, you've guided this alliance through one of the most consequential periods in its history. I realize I've. It's already. It's already. <laughs> it's already it's, you already can't. Stop so it, cut the key. Stop it here. Do you think the sign language lady is going. How does she. She looks like she's going. Yeah, does she have a? She looks like right. She's like. What? Does she have a transcript that she's? That she oh. can't possibly go off of what he's saying, because that's how you'd prove what he's saying either way. Is if her sign language was like fucking. Yeah. Away. <laughs> what they need is a not only a sign language lady for the hearing impaired, but they need a, it's the regular person there to tell you what he just said, it, yeah. with their mouth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Two on each side. Hey. Two on each side. <laughs> like see what that he would go. He just said. Okay. <laughs> That's a right. translator into English from Biden. <laughs> Here we go. Secretary, you've guided this alliance through one of the most consequential periods in its history. I realize I was talking to your wife. I personally asked you to extend your service. So now some people think that he said, I realize I was effing your wife, but <laughs> it's obviously he just, he was trying to say talking to your wife. Right. Right, but he's such okay. a he's such a speech slurring mumbler. Yeah, people thought he said. I mean, the, the beginning of the. Uh, by the way, I think he's going to be starring starring in Martin Scorsese's new film, uh, called Raging Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fuck my wife. Okay, here we go. I don't Secretary, remember. Guy, this alliance through one of the most consequential periods in its history. I realize. Oh, he's trying to say one of the most consequential periods in its history. But what it comes out is most of the cuts could have the history. That's what, I, that's what it comes out as. Secretary, you've guided this alliance through one of the most consequential periods in its history. I realize I was talking to your wife. I personally asked you to extend your service. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Everybody was like, did he just say that? Yes. That's what everybody was like. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're with me? <laughs> okay, I mean, it's sure it's easy to po poke fun at Biden for being a stutterer, but as long as he gave it his all and he did his goodest job, as we know he can do, that's what this is all about: doing his goodest job. As long as I did my goodest job, as I know I can do. He, he said, "Goodest." <laughs> we didn't play that part of the show. We should have. Do uh, as your goodest job, as you know. Your you can goodest. Do. Yeah. So I, I anyway, I know it sounds. Like Biden saying uh, "f" in this guy's wife, but what he actually said was, "I was talking to your wife," which actually makes way less sense. <laughs> the value thing made more sense. Yeah, like yeah. he brought him on stage, like to tell me Clooney pranked him. Like fucking his <laughs> wife. Yeah, <laughs> here is uh, Biden's la latest gaffe leaves nation in st uh, NATO in stitches. In an unexpected twist, Joe Biden called the NATO secretary an intellectual wigger, and dished out a cringeworthy comment about his wife. Was it an attempt to stand to do stand-up comedy? This world's wondering if Biden's prepping for a Netflix NATO special. Here it is. Let's listen. So much of the progress we made in the alliance is thanks to the secretary. Again, he starts off. You don't know what he's saying. So, so much, much of the, uh, the problems we've made in the alliance. Wait. Yeah, yeah. So much of the progress we made progress. in the alliance. Oh, progress. Progress. So much of the progress we made. So much of the progress we made in the alliance is thanks to the secretary. He's a man of integrity. And intellectual rigor. It's <laughs> 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 a man of integrity. An intellectual wigger. That's my. That's my intellectual wigger. You know, I, that came first. That part in the speech. Oh, okay. So if they were like, because that's the thing you hear at me, like he maybe he's saying rigor. I'm sure. Yeah. And then they say he's fucking his wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So basically the world's going to end because no one understood what the president is saying. Or maybe the world will end if they do understand it. Could be either way. That's some that's some true international uh dumb bit of pressure. <laughs>
true. We're at your bottom, jump of the pressure. Here we go. <laughs> so much of the progress we made in the alliance is thanks to the secretary. <laughs> He's a man of integrity and intellectual rigor. <laughs> what does he say at the end of that? So much of the progress we made in the alliance is thanks to the secretary. He's a man of integrity and intellectual rigor, a calm temperament, a moment of crisis. <laughs> Tom, talk about Tiny Tucker Tucker. It's like, it's just, there's no way this guy hangs on for another month. I hate my hearing check too, because I'm going deaf too. So him talking extra low now, I, I can't. Could, did, could, could anybody, could you understand what he said? No. Could, Oh, so you didn't get it the first three times no. I played it. No. no. Okay. So much of the progress we made in the alliance is thanks to the secretary. He's a man of integrity and intellectual rigor, a calm temperament, a moment of crisis. In a moment of crisis. Well, he wanted to fuck his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? You work hard to support yourself and your family, but it may seem, though, you are taking a step back every month instead of moving forward. When the bills are higher than what you bring in every month, you have to swipe that credit card to cover the difference. And the debt keeps adding up. But if you own a home, if you own a home, our friends at American Financing can help you break free from that cycle. That's right. American Financing is saving people just like you an average of $854 a month. That's a big number. Think about what you could do with an extra $800 a month and not having to worry about those minimum monthly payments. And even better, it costs nothing to find out how much you can save. All it takes is a quick call to American Financing. And if you start today, you may be able to delay two mortgage payments. Call American Financing today and start your journey towards being credit card debt free. Call 888-804-0303. That's 888-804-0303. Or visit AmericanFinancing.net slash Jimmy. Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com.